Okay. I'm not sure how long I can play this without having a break. Really. Because this looks bad. And it's fucking cold here. Jeez. Where are we now? What? Still here? I'm confused. Oh. Lag. What was that? Lag. Weird. This area seems to be big. I must sneak here, just in case. Another note. <coughs> Renewal works. We are under complete overhaul. All of the old furnitures and stuffs are being replaced. Dr. Sophia is very strict about her instructions. Well, I don't mind those old rotting... Uh, wooden beds are being replaced by new strong iron ones. I'm tired of chinches already. What I don't understand is why they are replacing an electronic gate to isolated patient's ward. Why they c wanted to wanted me to keep the ward door locked. Huh? Uh. Okay, back in a moment. <laughs> Alright then, should be a bit warmer around here soon and... I don't know why, but the weird noises outside stopped. Still don't know what it was though. It's locked? We have a fucking crowbar! <laughs> cool, we actually use it. Oh, and it's broken, damn it. We get a wrench. No, a screwdriver. Why did I want to say wrench? That's clearly not a wrench. <coughs> Should I feel safe here? I'm not sure. If that would be stupid. This area is really huge and open and broken. What the hell? Where am I? And what happened here? Huh? It's hot, too hot that my body cannot handle it. It's bright, too bright that my eyes went blind. It's unbearable to hear those screams. Help me. I'm covering my ears in hope I'll go deep. Damn it, how was I supposed to know? They tell me some stuff. I missed like one or two of those already, thinking those are just paintings. Damn it! Was that projection room? That's fucking dark. Not going there. Okay, different room. Uh, meeting room. What about here? Same, jeez. that do anything? Oh yes, that was a light switch, whoa. Okay. That's not creepy or anything. There's 
not even anything here. What? Okay. No problem. What? Well, yeah, that was that was there before already. I'm tripping. Big times. Was there a switch here as well? No. Well, damn you then. <sighs> this isn't too bad yet. What's that? More reading. <coughs> Hospital history. In ain't. In 1878, the, str the State Lunatic Hospital at Denver was er erected under the supervision of prominent Boston architect Nathaniel J. Bradley. Jeez, that's a difficult name. In an extremely rural, out of the way location. The immediate crisis, which preci precipitated the building of a mental hospital north of Boston, was the Imminent in the early eight, 1870s. Uh, the eminence of 18, the early. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Again. The immediate crisis which pre precipitated the building of the mental hospital north of Boston was the imminence of the early 1870s of the, clo of the closing of the f f facility at South Boston. I can't read today. In 1873, Wor Worcester, I don't know how to spell that, Taunton and Northampton, and the 1866 Tewkesbury Asylum for Chronic Patients were already housing 1,300 patients in buildings designed for 1,000. Another 1,200 were scattered about in various other hospitals. Jeez, those are quite a few pages. While the hospital was originally established established to provide residential treatment and care to the mentally ill, its functions dis expanded to include a training program for nurses in 1889 and a pathological research laboratory in 1895. By the 1920s, the hospital was operating school clinics to help determine Mental de deficient deficiency in children. Um, during the 1960s, as a result of increased emphasis on alternative methods of treatment and deinstitution, wait a sec, deinstitutionalization and community-based ga mental health care. <coughs> the inpatient population started to decrease. Denver State Hospital closed on June 24, 1992 due to, due to budget cuts within the mental health system. Jeez, that is like the longest word I've ever seen in the video game. <coughs> um, in 1998, Denver Hosp State Hospital opened again by Dr. Diane Selvin and began to undergo a partial reconstruction to meet the modern day standards. After countries, one of, of the most respectable doctors, Patrick Parr, joined to the hospital crew, reputation of the hospital started to increase. However, the still out of the way location left an average impression throughout the country. There is a handwritten note here. Today, Denver State Hospital is forgot a forgotten and desolate place. Uh, great. Wrong key. Not touching any vases and stuff. Because they might explode. I'm not even kidding. Doctor's wing and... Isolated patients. Let me guess. Wait, which key is this? Of course. Of course. Yeah, what else could it be? What else could it ever be? Fuck.
Oh, this looks much worse already. And it's quieter. Oh my days. There's a flashlight. I want to check in here first, bro. I don't... who knows? There might be... ooh, stuff. Ooh, quite a bit of stuff. Some morphine and some syringes that I really don't want. And another note. So much reading. Note to Dr. Patrick. Dr. Patrick. Clarence is out of con control and I administered one dose of sedative. That's not up to me, but I think his condition is getting worse. He started to claim that someone named Philip is try um is trying to get rid of him. If you ponder all my curiosity, just who is this Philip and why is he thinking that he tries to kill him? For other patients' welfare, I locked him to observation cells until further assistance. Ha! <laughs> If you know Penumbra, you probably had to smile at that as well. Nice. So, there's electric stuff. Oh, let me guess, we will use that too. Yeah. I got it. Ah, oh, damn it. Can't reach through that, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Screws are too tight, I can't open it with this. Maybe I can break it? What? I want my flashlight! Have a bottle! You stupid thing! Damn it! How am I supposed to break that? Uh Yeah, how am I supposed to break that? Uh Hmm. Good question, sir. What shall you ask next? Um use the chair would be my second thought. Chairs always work. They are like, um, multi-use weapons. Fuck. I can't see the gate. The door, I mean. Give me that. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, and it has battery life. Shit. Please tell me there will be enough batteries. I shouldn't check these all. I really shouldn't. But maybe that one. It won't move. Holy shit. Okay, I'm scared now. A little bit. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Everything's fine, don't worry, don't fucking worry. Why did we have to break it? Why does he need so long to activate the flashlight? We will have to find something there, won't we? Crap. I mean, we have no new lead, so... Damn it! Did 
This is just messed up. Nothing. Nothing. Oh gosh, I really don't want to do this. Lock is broken. Wait, can I like... No. 